Good morning everyone, Dan here from GE Inspection Technologies and today I'd like to give you a brief introduction to thickness measurement uh, with the DMS Go. So here we have our DMS Go. I have the kickstand folded out with the zero block showing. We'll talk about that more in a second. I have a probe connected. Um, in this case I have a DA590 probe. It's a high temperature probe. But the operation of this is going to be very similar for a wide variety of our dual uh, thickness probes. And the other thing I have here is a four-step uh, calibration block. Since most of you will be measuring uh, the thickness of steel, steel pipes, plates, things like that, um, I have a, a four-step uh, steel block here. Uh, it's basic carbon steel. I've got a quarter-inch step, a half-inch, three-quarter, and one-inch step on this block. Right. Now, in the uh, for calibrating the DA590, we actually uh, don't use the zero block, but I want to mention it because some of the probes uh, do make use of this. When you do a manual zero, um, it will ask you to do things with the zero block, and this is the zero block. It's this button built into the kickstand. Okay. And if we look on the block, there are two numbers engraved on the block. There's a thickness in millimeters and a velocity in meters per second. And it's very important that the instrument knows exactly what those two numbers are. So normally we'd start out in the probe and cal menu. If I go over here to the config menu and go up to uh, the zero block parameter, there's two numbers here shown, uh, a thickness and a velocity. So if I come onto that parameter, I do the right arrow. It brings up a window where I can set those two numbers. So on my block, I've already done this. So my thickness is 6.359 millimeters. My velocity is 5950 meters per second. That matches the numbers on the block. If those numbers don't match, you can adjust them. Use the up and down arrows to select which of the two parameters right and left arrows to increment and decrement the numbers. Okay, so again, make sure that those numbers match. Okay, up in this upper left corner, you'll see four little squares, four little rectangles, um, and the words in there are going to change depending on the context of what you're doing. Right now these say exit and done. Okay, those four squares correspond to these four buttons. Okay, the lower two squares, uh, lower right is this button, lower left is this button, upper right, this one, upper left, this one. Okay, so right now, this button is defined as exit, this button is defined as done. To save, to leave here and save the numbers, I click done. That takes me back to the parameter. I can scroll back down to the menu bar and I can either wrap around the end or go left back to the probe and cal menu. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I have a DA590 probe. In this case I already have DA590 uh, chosen, but let's say I was on something else, like it was set to DA512. It's very important to tell the instrument what probe you have. So I'm going to set that back to DA590. And uh, the instrument will set, uh, set itself up to work well with the type of probe that you just asked for, okay, or that you just told it you have. So now our, my instrument should be set to the factory defaults for working with the DA590. All right, so just for the heck of it, I'll take a measurement, and there's my half-inch block, but it's saying 689. What's going on? That's not the right answer. Well, we haven't yet calibrated uh, the probe, the instrument and the probe together. Okay, so if we start out on the probe selection and we start going down through the list, I can choose different thickness gauge modes, calibration modes, zero modes. The instruments already set them to a good set of working defaults, so I'm just going to leave them alone right now. Um, you can read up on what each of those different modes does in your manual. Uh, there are times when you want to use each of those. Uh, but for now, we're just going to work with uh, the defaults. Dual mode, 
one point calibration and user zero. Okay, next step down here is calibration. Uh, calibration start. So if I get to that parameter, click right to activate it. First thing it tells me to do, it's going to start giving me some prompts step by step how to go through the calibration. So it says wipe coupling off probe. So I take a cloth, I wipe the tip of my probe off. It says press zero. Well, where's the zero button? Again, look up here at these four function keys definitions in this upper left corner. I have exit and zero. So I press zero. And what the instrument just did was looked at the length of the delay tip, figure out where the tip of the probe is, and calls that zero. All right. Now the next thing it says is couple to cal standard or press enter to change the cal block thickness. And you see it says right now point or 0 0.5000. So someone previously has told it that they wanted to calibrate on a half inch step of the block. So on this block, there's the half inch step. Okay, if I just wanted to go ahead and use that, I'd uh, just go ahead and take my measurement at this point. Let's say instead I want to go to the three quarter inch block. All right, the prompt says press enter to change the cow block thickness. Look up here at my function keys, enter is this key. So I press enter. Now I can go right and left, up and down to change the numbers. And I'm going to tell it I want to calibrate on my 0.75 inch block. Press done to complete. My buttons are exit and done now. So I press done. It says OK. You wanted three quarter inch. So put the probe on the three quarter inch block. Acquiring, play, please stay coupled. Now it says remove the probe from the cow standard. Okay, and it's all ready to go. It has completed the calibration process. So now if I take my probe back to the three quarter inch block, 751, it's just a little bit uh, high. Go to the half inch step, 500. Go to the quarter inch step, 251. So I have a little bit of dirt and dust on my block here, so I might be off by a thou or two. And there's one inch. So I'm a one thousand shy at an inch. 750, three quarter inches dead on. Half inch, quarter inch, one inch. Okay, so that's the calibration process. And at this point, I'm all set to go inspect carbon steel plate and pipe and things like that and take good accurate measurements. Um, I would normally keep my block with me, you know, a couple of times a day I come back and check a step on the block, just make sure that I'm still getting accurate readings. Um, if things would start to drift, you know, as the probe starts to wear, um, you might go back through the calibration process again uh, to make sure that the zero is correct. If you want to do just the zeroing part of the calibration, there is a place in the menu called Probe Zero. I can do Start. It'll say Wipe Off the Couplet. Press Zero. This function key is defined as Zero in the corner. Do Zero, and that's all complete. So now I can come back, continue taking measurements. And I'm right on where I was before. Okay. So that's the basics of uh, getting started with the DMS Go, doing a, a quick calibration on the probe and instrument combination. Uh, so there you go. If you have any questions, please reach out to our tech support uh, at remote service at bhge.com. Uh, we are here to help. Thank you.